now let us discuss about priority queue implementation of queue interface queue is an interface which is available in util package in order to use the full functionality of the queue interface there are three classes present in the queue interface the first class is linked list second one is a red eq third one is priority queue class in the last video in the last two videos already we have seen about linked list class a red eq class present in the queue interface in this video we are focusing on priority queue class so what is priority queue it is a class it is a predefined class which is available in queue interface okay so priority queue is a class so the we know about the naming conventions for a class the class name always begins with upper case letter every inner word begins with upper case letter so priority queue so p and q are upper case so no need of any space between priority and uh, q we know that uh, q q works based on the principle of first in first out fifo principle but priority q works based on the priority here let we have we entered uh, some elements like this 1 10 5 20 3 so let us assume that uh, the queue contains uh, these four elements the element which is having the smaller value will be will get the highest priority here out of these four values three is the smallest value so three will get highest priority next the elements may be entered like 10 5 20 or 25 10 or 5 10 20 there is no 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 such constraint so here in the priority queue what will happen is the head of the queue that is nothing but the starting element of the queue that is nothing but minimum element the minimum element will have the highest priority here highest priority means lower number so let us assume that three priority is zero so smaller value will have the highest priority highest priority means minimum value whereas uh, so likewise the elements will be inserted we will see that in the uh, example let's see the theory the elements are processed according to the priority so in priority queue the elements will be processed based upon the priority okay based on natural ordering or custom comparator supplied at the time of creation so here we can uh, specify the priority in two ways the first way is natural ordering so natural ordering means the smallest element will get the highest priority highest priority means minimum number whereas the second one is by using the custom comparator so let's see how we can do that so here we have util package why because in collections every class interface method is available in the util package next to class the class name is priority queue example next to public static void main string aux let's see the first statement priority queue pq1 equal to new priority queue so this is nothing but natural ordering so what is the first one based on the natural ordering so this is nothing but natural ordering of priority queue creation natural ordering means out of available elements the smallest element will gets the highest priority that is nothing but natural ordering next whereas let's see the second one priority queue pq2 equal to new priority queue of comparator dot reverse order so what is the second way custom comparator here we we are using comparator in comparator class we have a method called reverse order so reverse order means first here out of these values what is the maximum value so 20 is the maximum value so now 20 will have the highest priority and after that 10 next to 3 next to 5 next to 3 so that is nothing but comparator so next uh, here duplicates are allowed in priority queue we can insert the duplicates there is no problem 
Next, null insertion is not allowed. So we can't insert null values into the queue. So duplicates are allowed in the priority queue, but null insertions are not allowed. Let's see the another property. Insertion order is not preserved in the priority queue. Whereas in normal queue, next to double-ended queue, insertion order is preserved. Insertion order is preserved means according to the our according to our order, the elements will be inserted in the queue. If we insert like 10, 20, 30, 40, then in the same order, uh, the elements will be inserted in the queue. But here in priority queue, the elements are not here, the elements are not inserted into the order according to the specified order by the user. That is the point. Insertion order is not preserved. The element with highest priority comes out first when we use the poll method. We know about the poll method. It is useful for deletion operation. We will see the methods later. Head of the queue is the least element. So in priority queue, what is the point? The element with highest priority comes out first. So highest priority element means least element. Here out of these elements, the least element is 3. So 3 will have the highest priority. So if you perform the deletion operation, then this, the, then this element will be deleted first. That is the point. So we can say that insertion order is not preserved. Okay. Yeah, actually we are inserted in this order 10, 5, 20, 30. But in the queue we have 3, 10, 5, 20. So the order is different. Next, here there are two types of priority queue. Uh, max heap, min heap. Priority queue is based upon the heap property. So we have two types of heap. Max heap, min heap. So max heap means the parent value should be greater than its children nodes. So if you take uh, 10, 10 is greater than its children's 5 and 3. So here what is the parent? 5. So 5 children's are 1, 2. So here the parent is greater than its children's. Next, 0, 1. So here what is the parent? 3. 3 is greater than 0 and 1. Whereas min heap means parent value is smaller than its children's. So let we have 5. So its children's are 6, 7. So what is the parent value? 5. 5 is smaller than its children's such as 6 and 7. Next if we take here 8, 9. So parent value is 6. 6 is smaller than its children's 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Next let's see about methods of priority queue. The methods of priority queue are similar to the methods of queue interface only. Yard method, offer method, remove method, poll method, element method, peak method. By using add method, we can add an element to the priority queue. If the insertion is successful, then it returns true value. Whereas if the insertion fails, so when the insertion fails, if the queue is full, so if the insertion fails, then it returns an exception. Next, offer method is also similar to add only. So by using offer also, we can add an element to the priority queue. If the element is successfully inserted, then it returns true. Otherwise, it will return, here it is returning exception, whereas here it is returning false. Okay, so if, if, if here in the add method, if the condition fails, if the insertion is not successful, then it returns exception. But here, if that uh, insertion fails, it returns false. Next, with the help of the remove method, uh, the top element will be returned. The top element will be removed. So here, what is the top element? Three. So three will be remo removed. If the insertion is successful, then remove method returns this element, top element. Here what is the top element? 3. So 3 will be returned and it will be removed. So next head will be at the next element. If the removal operation fails, then it returns exception. So add method also returns exception. Remove method also returns exception if the condition fails. So when the, condi when the uh, condition will fail here, here remove method is for removal operation. So when the queue is empty, 
then we can say that the condition fails. So if the condition fails, it returns the exception. Next, poll method is similar to remove method only. So with the help of the poll method also, we can remove the topmost element. If the condition fails, if the condition is true, then it returns this deleted element. Suppose if the condition falls, then it returns null. Null indicates that the QV is empty. Here, if the condition fails, it returns exception. Poll method means it returns null. Next two methods are element peak method. With the help of these two methods, we can return the topmost element. Here, what is the topmost element? 3. 3 will be returned. But head will be at this location only. So, the pointer will be at the topmost element only. So, removal won't happen. Here, if the condition fails, then that means if the queue is empty, it returns exception, element method. Whereas, peak method, it returns null. So, here, add method, remove method, element method returns exception if the condition fails. Okay. Uh, let's see the program here. Already we have seen uh, these two statements. Here we have two constructors. We can create the constructor with the help of uh, natural ordering or by comparator. Next, pq1. pq1 means first one. pq1 dot add of 8. Next, pq1 dot add of 2. What is the use of add method? It is useful for adding an element to the queue. So, 8 to 2. Next, pq1 dot offer. Offer method is also useful for adding element to the queue. So, 5. Next, pq1 dot offer of 7. So, here total we have 4 elements. 8 to 5, 7. 8 to 5, 7. Out of 8 to 5, 7, what is the smaller value? <laughs> 2 is the smaller value. So, here the first element is 2. Its priority is 0. So, 0 means this 2 has highest priority. Next, remaining elements in any order, these elements will be inserted. 758 or 578 or 857 or 875. So, there is no constraint on that. Only one constraint is there. What is that? The smallest element will get the highest priority and it will be added as the head. Okay. Next, 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 we performed operations with the help of PQ2 also. Same, same, same insertion. PQ dot add of 8 next to 2, next to 5, next to 7. Same insertion operation. In place of PQ1, we use just PQ2. Let's see here. System dot out dot print and of PQ1. So PQ1 means this, this, this insertion. So what is the output here? 2758. So 2758 is the output. In square brackets, we will get the output. Next, system dot out dot print and of PQ1 dot poll. So what is the use of poll method? It is useful for removing the topmost element. Here what is the topmost element? 2. So 2 will be removed. This 2 will be removed. So here we are getting 2 as the output. Next system dot out dot print and now PQ dot PQ1 dot remove. So now what will happen? After removing this 2, based upon the priority, the elements will be arranged. Out of 7, 5, 8, what is the smaller value? The smaller value will be inserted as the head of the queue. So, what is the smallest value? Out of 7, 5, 8, 5 is the smaller value. So, 5 will be inserted as the head of the queue. So, it, it will get the highest priority now. Okay. Next, remaining elements may be 7, 8 or 8, 7. So, if you perform pq1 dot remove, what is the topmost element now? 5. So, 5 will be removed. We don't get 7 as the output. So, that is the beauty of the poll method. So, in priority queue, what will happen? After removal operation, the minimum, the minimum element, the least element will be added as the head of the queue. So, that least element will get the highest priority. So, if you see here, pq1 dot poll, what is the output? 5 is the output. Next, if you display the priority queue, pq1, then 7, 8. 7, 8 is the output. Okay. Next, if you see this one, system dot out dot print and pq2. So, what is pq2? pq2 means second priority queue. Second priority queue is created based upon the comparator, reverse order, reverse order. So, reverse order means the highest element will becomes the, will get the highest priority. So, here same elements. What are the elements? 8257. 
but out of 8 to 5, 7, what is the highest element? What is the biggest element? 8. So 8 will get the highest priority. Then after that, what is the next highest value? 7. So 7 will get the priority, highest priority. So we will get output like 8, 7, 5, 2. So like this, we can perform operations on the priority queue. So this is about uh, priority queue implementation of queue interface. So priority queue is a class which implements queue interface.